Hello everyone and welcome to Net Crypto where you get important information and news about all coins and tokens of interest. And there is no other token of interest as Scotty the AI, right? So there are some concerns that I have and I'm sure the community as well has the same concerns. Where are the admins? Where are the devs, right? I've covered multitudes, multitudes of scams. But one thing that I've seen across the scams is at least the admins, the devs, we're actually chatting to the community. But something weird is going on behind the scenes at Scotty, the AI, right? And also I've discovered something that is, uh, it's not really new, but I'm just going to be sharing it with you. Like I've said, I don't think this is the first scam that this team is actually done. There are multiple others. So let's just first dive into the information, right? So on the Telegram group, if you just go to the members, right, you see that we've got these mods and admins, right? So admins have got a level of access to the project. We have this one, uh, LV, Updude, Cowprod Mod, AI Mega Pump, Cryptomaniac, CryptoFad, right? Uh, CryptoFund, rather, uh, and Master of Food. And then, of course, uh, Jason Banks. Right. So the admins, the only thing we see here is last seen recently. Right. This is something that you can check. Right. When did you actually last see these guys actually commenting on the group? Right. Uh, at least it will bring some comfort to the investors if these guys can actually start to talk to the community. Right. The, and what is actually weird for me is that. If you check the one of the pinned messages from Jason Banks, who is top Scotty dog, I don't know what that means, right? This is the message that he posted. It, it's really strange. It's actually a pinned message in the Telegram group. It says, based on the limited information I was able to get, the team is letting the remainder of the tokens that were allocated for pre-sale continue to sell while preparing for launch. They are waiting on permission from sex to allow them to announce who they are also uh, to allow them to announce who they they are and also a guaranteed launch date and time as everybody knows nobody likes to set a date and be wrong also uh, sexes like to promote and make announcement for new projects they launch first or at some time as the project uh, or at the same time as project announces, okay, something to do with the English here, should have more detailed updates soon. Okay, so this is a really worrying post. Why? Because Jason Banks, right, is saying based on the limited information I was able to get, why is the information limited? Right? That's like the obvious question, right? Uh, these are the guys who are in charge. The, the only other person that I actually see talking here is like Kevin. Kelvin is the other person. I don't even know if Kelvin is actually a real person because the responses in Telegram, they're like scripted, like they are some sort of like bot, right? <laughs> we don't actually know if he's a real person. Like you can let me know. Do you actually think that Kelvin is actually a real person? And why are all the admins, there's absolutely nothing coming from the admins, right? Uh, this is actually really worrying because other scams that I've actually, uh, even the other scams that I believe the same guys have done, like BTC20, they were continuing to talk to the community and so on. And I found something really interesting that is actually quite similar across all these uh, scams that I've talked about. Like I said, I believe, this is my opinion, right, that the people behind Scotty the AI are the same people behind BTC20, Green Bitcoin, and also Bitcoin EFT. Now, if you go right at the bottom where the sitemap is supposed to be, right? Let's go to Scotty the AI. You go right at the bottom of the website, right? Right at the bottom. Look at the disclaimer, right? It says, cryptocurrency investments ca carry a high risk of volatility. Be aware of the tax impl implications as profits may be subject to capital gains or other taxes in your jurisdiction. Cryptocurrency regulations can vary, so ensure you understand the rules in your area, conduct thorough research, and invest only what you can afford to lose. 
right that's what they're saying on the site map and then let's jump to actually green bitcoin right that's the other hot scam at the moment as well just like scotty the ai cryptocurrency investments carry a high risk of volatility be aware of the tax implications as profits my as uh, profits may be subject to capital gains or other taxes in your jurisdiction cryptocurrency regulations uh, vary so ensure you understand the rules in your area conduct thorough research and invest only you can afford to lose do you see this it's the same thing that they've got right there at the bottom now let's go to btc20 right btc20 i believe is also another the same uh the same guys behind this and look at this disclaimer cryptocurrency may be unregulated in your jurisdiction the value of cryptocurrency may go down as well as up profits may be subject to capital gains tax and uh, other taxes applicable to your jurisdiction so btc21 was one of the earlier scams so the, the disclaimer now has expanded and then the other uh the other one that we see here is like bitcoin etf right it's got the same as BTC20 as well. Cryptocurrency may be unregulated in your jurisdiction. The value of cryptocurrency may go down as well as up. Profits. So you can kind of like see the website template. This is just the disclaimer, right? Little things like this. They can change the whole story. Here is Bitcoin ETF. You know that during the Bitcoin ETF, that was the in thing. So now they are moving to AI because they see that they've been riding the Bitcoin uh the whole bitcoin story etf and all that now the etf is listed it's over and done with they have moved away from bitcoin they are now into scotty the ai but they haven't really moved away because they have also got green bitcoin as well right you can just see the big x here the telegram as well you can see the big x here the telegram this is like staking is like literally right there to begin with staking is like right there at the beginning and the story is always different. They are always jumping from one scam to the next, to the next, to the next. But what is actually really weird is where are the admins, right? And let's just jump onto another uh, meme token that is actually what right now. I think it went something like a crazy 900% up, right? You just go and check the disclaimer for this one. There's nothing completely different, right? So uh their disclaimer i'm sure for their future schemes they are going to be changing the disclaimer because we've highlighted it now right this whole disc disclaimer thing but you can kind of see that it is following the same thing right so just let me know what do you think right and tomorrow we are going to be diving even more into this project because i've just been covering the surface tomorrow we're going to start to scrutinize the white paper there's also some rumors coming out about the team discussing a possible sex listing with bitmart right and uh, i don't know what other exchange it's going to be they are saying two tier one exchanges right the the tier one ex in exchange that i would consider close to tier one that they would list on is something like an okx right okx anyway is the entry level for a bunch of other projects this sort of like meme projects okx is quite it, okx does list a lot of them right but bitmart i wouldn't consider bitmart a tier one exchange it is a decent exchange but definitely not a tier one exchange so tomorrow we're going to be diving into exactly the white paper what exactly is happening and all these other things what are they promising and all that right to really scrutinize exactly this court the ai what uh, this thing is all about but like i said guys right if this thing lists, let's say, on an OKX and stuff, there is a chance to actually make some money there on OKX, but don't buy the pre-sale, right? Don't buy the pre-sale because when you buy into the pre-sale, the contract doesn't even exist yet, right? They might say there is a contract, but you're not putting your money into that contract. That's the, the reason why crypto uh, is actually good is because you've got a smart contract. But the problem with pre-sales is you're actually buying into a pre-sale contract, which is not the actual contract right so anything can happen that's why when you buy your tokens you need to get your tokens so that's why i say don't buy the pre-sale at least buy after the pre-sale even if the thing like explodes after the pre-sale the risk of buying in the pre-sale is just too much right at least let this thing list on a sex like bitmart or okx right or even on a on a dex like uniswap 
then you can buy your tokens because now you can actually buy your tokens you've got your tokens in your wallet if the value goes down you know you're an investor but buying into the pre-sale a lot of people are not even able to claim right in multiple of these other projects that i spoke about like btc20 green bitcoin and all this so we are going to start to actually scrutinize the white paper see everything that they are promising we've been covering scams on this channel for a very long time i know a lot of people are really upset but that's what we do here right uh we're going to really jump into the white paper so let me know what do you think right so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one